five ghosts caught on camera. Norwegian Ghost This next scary video is from Norway, where we see three girls sitting around playing with a homemade Ouija board. Well, it's either a homemade Ouija board or a Japanese Kokori San board. It's kinda hard to tell. Anyway, as one girl films, nothing much happens at first, but then things take a very unexpected turn. <laughs> Det kommer så här såna lysglimt föran skärmen alltså. Det dricker upp i. Har du vet det är så If there's one thing to be learned from this creepy video, it's that when you're messing with ghosts on a Ouija board, never say, quote, it's not working, or, quote, show us a sign. So, do you think this is a scary video of a summoned ghost caught on camera? Or is it just some bored Norwegian girls pulling a prank? Let me know. Viewer Videos New top 5 viewers and first time paranormal explorers Salem and Faras travel to the abandoned Excellencia Hotel Suites in the city of Amman, Jordan. They plan to conduct a nighttime exploration of the creepy 9 story building. The hotel is said to be haunted after a tragic event that happened 5 years ago. A man found his wife cheating on him in a hotel room on the third floor. In a rage, the man took her life and that of her lover. Soon after, the hotel was forced to shut down after receiving a bad reputation and guests begin to claim that they experienced a constant dreadful feeling of being watched. However, Salem and Faras are more worried about encountering real and very much alive people during their exploration, as they too feel like they're being watched and followed. When they reach the supposedly haunted third floor, 
the explorers experience something downright chilling. Dude, who the f did this? This is not cool. Since we entered this place, we can't get a good feeling after this. I feel like I'm being followed. So fucking reason. Okay. Is it wrong? Sure. They say this is the one that they got killed in it. I'm not planning to go in. I'm not gonna go in. What the f***? What the f***? Someone was here. There is more clothes in the f***ing... Oh. What? What? There's no clothes inside. I need to go. We need to f***ing go. Are you sure? No. I don't think it's like... Da, 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 da. Solemn claims that he felt that something was watching them, and when analyzing the footage, a strange bizarre shape can be seen in a room at the end of the hallway. When Salem pans his camera back to the hallway, nothing there. Then his friend Forrest claims to have seen someone in the hotel room where the tragic event took place and they both just make a run for it. In the last shot, a terrifying figure can be seen watching the two friends from very close by. So did something paranormal chase them out of the hotel? Because just what is this? I leave it up to you to decide. You can watch the full exploration over on the YouTube channel, Salem and Faress, GHT. Now this next spooky video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer, Pastor Aaron from Peace Memorial Church in Oregon. Pastor Aaron explains in his email that because of the current global health crisis, he was attempting to record announcements for the church's temporary online services. He's using his phone to record a video when he is interrupted by something that he just can't explain. Well, hey everybody, Pastor Aaron here. It's my pleasure just to announce that we this Sunday will be, oh, will be uh, open. Okay, we're we're uh, we've been trying to do this announcement several times today already, and uh, three times that podium back there has fallen over on its own, and it's uh, it's stable. I mean, it's not wobbly at all. It's uh, kind of like that uh, podium has been wobbling. Okay, so there's we checked the vent. There's a vent there that is not an air duct that has any forced air at all, so it can't be wobbling from that. Oh, there's absolutely no breeze in here. You can see by the banner there. There's this no, no air conditioning. It's these things. They're off. I don't know. So I'm just gonna sit here and watch it for a little bit. And uh, we will I'll see if it does it again. Ooh, that thing's moving. That hasn't been moving. That's new. 
seriously, nothing else. There's no breeze. It's moving again. Good grief. Pastor Aaron says that he has used the podium for years and it has never once been wobbly or suddenly fallen over. Even stranger, the flagpole next to the podium begins to move on its own as well. The pastor explains that nothing spooky or paranormal has ever happened at the church, but he says that a few times he has been called to help families who were dealing with paranormal events at their homes. So could something have followed Pastor Aaron back to the church? Let me know what you think. This next video was sent in by Nate Howard from Providence, Utah. Nate says in his email that he and his family moved to their new rental home just four months ago, and almost immediately they began to experience very creepy and unexplainable activity. The family hears the unexplained sound of multiple people walking around the house. Doors and cupboards open and close on their own, and lights in the house turn on and off at all hours of the night. After being woken by these bizarre noises several times, the family decided to set up a few security cameras around the home. Two days later, Nate discovers one of the cameras has recorded something absolutely chilling. The lights in the kitchen flicker on and off by themselves as a strange shadow figure appears out of nowhere. Nate is baffled by what they have captured on camera and is worried that the cameras might have somehow triggered whatever might be haunting their new home. But what do you think this could be? Let me know down below. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The kids in the hall. Urbex Explorer Colin from the YouTube channel The Bearded Explorer often finds himself in some of the creepiest abandoned locations in England, but he says he's never been to one as scary as this, a hospital that was built in 1882 to treat children suffering from horrible infectious diseases. The large structure closed down in the 1980s and has been left to rot ever since. Considering the building's tragic history, it's no wonder that Colin feels a little creeped out as he heads inside completely alone to explore the old hospital. But it gets worse because he starts to hear some very odd sounds. God, this is, this is really creepy. Do you know what, I hate, I, I love it, but I hate it at the same time, walk around these places on your own because, I don't know, Right now, it, it feels like there's someone like stood right behind me following me. There's not, but it feels like that. Hello? Understandably, Colin gets more and more freaked out by all the unexplained sounds that seem to be coming from somewhere very near him. He decides to just end his exploration, but before he does, he puts his camera down on the ground to get one last standard B-roll shot of himself walking the hospital hall. But instead, he captures something downright chilling. Oh, 
Did you see it? Colin is shocked when he sees what looks like the dark figure of a child standing at the end of the hallway. As he grabs up his camera, he captures just a glimpse of the childlike figure as it disappears into thin air. Now, some people say that what Colin captured could just be explained away as a shadow or an optical illusion, while others are convinced that he did actually see the apparition of a little boy inside the haunted hospital. So a month later, and after many requests from his viewers, Colin returns to the abandoned hospital again. It probably goes without saying, but it did not go well. <sighs> Why am I doing this? Why am I here on my own, walking around this abandoned hospital that I saw something? I, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a ghost. It, it wasn't a shadow. I mean, I can show you guys now, right? This is basically where I was standing. This this is where I was. The camera was literally so there. This is what you saw, basically that. Now, I heard something. I cracked myself. I ran back here, and as I picked it up, I went like that, and then I saw something just behind that blue chair. Now, bearing in mind I saw it with my own eyes, I didn't realize I had it on camera, but a lot of you guys were saying it's shadows, it's this, it's that, but you know, I just cannot stress to you enough that this wasn't a shadow. I actually saw something move with my own eyes and I cannot reenact that, you know, that there is no shadow. What the hell was that? Oh, I think it's just water dripping. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm probably putting off going up there. But, oh, Jesus Christ. I could just hear noises all around me. Right, let's do this. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? I'm sure I heard some, I don't know. It's probably just the wind. I felt that I had to come back here and just, just come here again and just see, you know, try and find a reason, you know, some, like an explanation, if you like, to... Whoa. But I never put... The... This is weird. I think it is just walk. Whoa. Okay. Okay, that's scary. I'm pretty sure it is just water dripping, but. Oh. God, this is absolutely. What the f? No, I'm, I'm hearing noises all around me. I don't know what it is. There is. Oh, I, 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 I am just so terrified right now. Much like his last visit, Colin again hears odd unexplained noises coming from all around him. He heads up to the hospital's second floor, takes a look around, and then heads back down to the first floor hallway. And that's when things take a terrifying turn. Oh, what is it about this place? Oh, I hate this place, I really do. Just listen. A small red ball comes rolling out of one of the hospital rooms and Colin makes a run for it. After all that he's seen and heard at the old abandoned hospital, Colin says he'll never go back alone. You can watch both explorations at the abandoned hospital and many more great Urbex videos over on the YouTube channel, The Bearded Explorer. Mother. Canadian paranormal investigator Jordan from the popular YouTube channel Paranormies sets out on a solo investigation to a small two bedroom home in Winnipeg, Canada that is believed to be haunted by a troubled spirit. The house belongs to a man named Dinesh who grew up in the home with his mother, Manisha. 
But one day Anesha's beloved mother Manisha fell extremely ill. Refusing to go to the hospital, Manisha passed away on her own bed in the home that she and Anesh shared. Anesh was absolutely devastated when he found her. Struck with intense, debilitating grief, he was unable to call the authorities for two days as he mourned. Today, Anesh believes that he made a terrible mistake by waiting so long, as his culture believes that a body must receive a proper burial ritual soon after death or the spirit could become trapped and unable to move on. Anesh claims that his mother has appeared to him as a white cat, greeting him every day on his way to work. He has also seen his mother standing in his bedroom doorway after waking up in the middle of the night. Anesh says that the home has been so paranormally active that he truly believes the spirit of his mother is trapped inside. Paranormal investigator Jordan spends the night at the house in the hopes of helping Manisha's ghost pass on from its earthly bonds. Jordan decides to try a supernatural test. He leaves the motion-activated ball at the top of the stairs in the loft before continuing his investigations downstairs. Later, when he finds himself back at the staircase to the loft, he's in for a chilling surprise. Okay, I think... Whoa! The ball's going off right now. Maybe not. Okay, I think... Whoa! The ball's going off right now. Can you touch it again? Thank you for being active and using the equipment. Manisha, one more time, please. Can you touch the motion ball? Whoa. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Oh. What? Now this thing can't, doesn't light up at all. He checks the upstairs loft but doesn't find any explanation as to how the little ball could have suddenly launched itself down the stairs. When Jordan heads back down, this happens. Oh. I hate these stairs. Whoa! Okay. The door to the attic loft mysteriously closes on its own. Jordan decides to sit down on the bed where Mother Manisha tragically passed away in hopes of communicating with her spirit. What happens next is downright chilling. Manisha, are you st are you still here? Or are you are you done for the night? Manisha? Look at this. Manisha, if I follow these footsteps, am I gonna find you? Okay. Okay, Manisha. I think it's time that we met face to face, right?
Manisha. Ho! Oh. Okay, Manish, do you know? If you want me to leave, I'll leave. I thought we were friends. The bathtub faucet suddenly turns on and when Jordan checks it out, he finds someone or something standing in the bathtub. Whoever or whatever it is appears to be dressed in red. The figure then disappears from the bathroom, leaving behind only watery footprints that lead down to the basement. When Jordan follows the footprints down, the lid of the washing machine lifts and drops on its own. Ho! Oh. Then a light bulb next to the washer spontaneously bursts. Oh yeah, there it is. A static camera pointing towards the door to the basement and the door to the attic records as Jordan heads back upstairs. Without the investigator knowing, the camera catches something Truly bizarre. Oh, there's a rough hot. Anisha? Oh, there's a rough hot. Anisha? shadow figure quickly darts into the living room as Jordan comes around the corner of the basement. So could this be the spirit of Manisha still trapped inside the home she shared with her son? Let me know what you think down in the comments. You can watch this entire two-part investigation with even more terrifying activity and a possible conversation with Manisha's ghost over on the YouTube channel Paranormies. Hide and Seek Jordanian ghost hunter Ahmad Sali sets out to investigate a home that's been terrorized by extreme paranormal activity. The father of the family who lives in the house reached out to Ahmad claiming to have seen the apparition of a little boy. He says the child spirit plays with his daughter's toys, often screaming and throwing fits of rage. The family believes the boy to be a dangerous shape-shifting djinn and they feel that it is no longer safe to live in their home. Ahmad stays overnight as he tries to get answers for the terrified family. He streams his investigation live on Snapchat. As the investigator walks around the house, mm, nothing much seems to happen. So he puts down his phone and decides to walk away from it, hoping something might appear while he's not observing. His live audience is shocked by what the phone captures. <laughs> Ahmad is looking away and has no idea that the little boy has made a chilling appearance. Unaware of the lurking djinn, Ahmad records himself as he steps inside the same room, right next to the figure. Surprisingly, the explorer still doesn't see anything, but his live audience does. <laughs> Hello. 
Rabbil kaun tula? Ahmad is shocked when he finally sees the boy. He quickly grabs his phone and hurries inside the room. But there's no one there. And from here, the paranormal activity only intensifies. A few moments later, and this happens. Hayo. Ha, eh? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طب الولد هون والله غير أشوف الولد أول شيء أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أيوة something makes another quick appearance and Ahmad suddenly hears a loud slamming sound in the other room when he goes to check it out again there's nothing there. Ahmad is baffled and continues to search throughout the house. Again, the boy shows himself. Ahmad runs to find the child, but he has disappeared yet again. So did the investigator capture the jinn that is said to haunt the family? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Thanks for watching. Check out my Instagram here, my Twitter here, and TikTok. If you're not subscribed, please do and turn on notifications. So hopefully I'll see you back here again next time.